Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like this. It is just a one block dropped off into the water fountain where the water will be flowing in. So what you're going to do is go on the edges of each five block side. You're going to do what I'm doing. You're going to dig two down, and it should look... Oh, that's not right. Um, it'll look like this, so you can see how I built the sandstone. And then it should go downwards. It should go like one block down and then two blocks down. This is to keep the flow of water going in the waterfall, water fountain, whatever you want to call it. So um, it should look like that. Um, I'm going to be doing it four times for you. Um, it took me a while to get this part right, but this is just to make sure the water flows and it just doesn't sit still. So you guys can see me doing this four times, so hopefully you'll get it by the fourth time. But um, as you can see, that's three blocks down, add one block, and then just dig out the dirt around it and place sandstone. You don't really need the sandstone, but it just gives it, you know, the complete, uh, whatever you want to say, complete thought, complete look, um, just so it's all sandstone, really. Um, so yeah, just keep on watching. I hope you'll get this the first couple times. It's really a pain. I mean, it took me a couple times the very first time I built this, but... I finally got it after a while, and this is actually the easiest easiest way I figured out of doing it. But, other than this, it's quite easy to make the water fall. So here we go. On the last side, we're just going to do the same exact thing. So you should have four holes in the straight across blocks and it should just be on the third block in between with two blocks on the side. So it should look like this now on every side, two blocks on the side, just like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make three across, go diagonal, three across, go diagonal, three across, go diagonal, three across. This will be the start where the water will start to flow in and then you'll just fill this in. So it should look like something like this. It should have a space in between the corners where it edges out. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a stairs. Um, you're going to switch up the look. So you'll go straight and then you'll make it go left. But make sure the backs of the stairs are inwards like this and the stairs are outwards. Um, so it should look like this. You know, it should be an even. And now what you're going to do is go up three blocks, four blocks. And then on the fourth block high, you'll be doing this just to make the water flow off. Oh my god! So now when you're done filling it in, it should look something like this. It will be the outer edges even with the ground around you, and then it should drop off one thing. So now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a hole in the sides of the five-sided blocks so the water will flow evenly. So what you're going to do is you're going to dig down one block, two blocks, excuse me, two blocks, place a sandstone block, dig down three, place a sandstone block, and then it should have some stuff like this around it, and you will just dig this out and place whatever material you are using, and fill it in completely so it gives it the complete look, and that's what it should look like right there. Um, I would keep rewinding this until you know you get it right. This will just keep the flow of water moving. So here you see again, we're just going to keep doing this four times. We're going to do it on each side, and you go down two, place sandstone, go down three, place sandstone, and then fill in the sides where the dirt is. You don't have to do the dirt, but I recommend it. It will just give it a better look, as you would say. So this is probably the easiest way to make the water flow. You can do a harder way, which is very complicated, where you can actually have the water like flow back into it, but it is very complicated. And you can make like a river or something. I, I made a river once and it went like around it and it can flow back inside, but we won't get into this that this we won't get into that in this video. We'll just keep with the basic water fountain. So there you see. Now I just have to do it on the last side where it is not, so we can keep the current running smoothly. Dig down three. And then we'll place the block and then we'll take out the entire surroundings. Now after this, it should be four holes on each side of the water fountain. There you see, four holes. It should be two blocks on each side of the hole, so it should be perfectly in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go three, diagonal three, diagonal three, 
and diagonal 3. So it should be one block away from the holes, and then we will just fill it in. It should look like this. As you can see, it is one block away from the outer edge, one block away, and it will be one block away from the hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make stairs right here to give it the flowing of water. Um, you can do it with stairs, wooden stairs, whatever you'd like, but make sure the backs of the stairs are facing inwards and the actual stairs are outwards. And then after that, you will build in the very middle, on like it should be one block on the each, you should go up four, and on the fourth block you should do this, make a little complete square where it'll be three blocks by three blocks. Shoot, my fault. I don't know what I'm doing there. And here we go. We'll fix this. There we go. And it should look like this, just a little square on the fourth block. And then in the very middle again, you'll go up three more blocks. So it should look something like this. And you're gonna do it on this you're gonna make stairs just like you did on the second level. You will put a block and have it so they're edging out and they should be hanging off the edge, so you're just gonna place a block. Place stairs like you did on the second level, and then break the block so they're hanging off the edge like this. Um, you should be able to completely walk around the stairs on this level, and if you can't, you probably did something wrong. But again, make sure the stairs are facing the backs of the stairs are facing inwards, and they should be hanging off. So you should be able to walk around. If not, you probably did something wrong. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the water. It should look something like that. So you're just going to fill water in on the corners of the five blocks like that so it should flow something like that it doesn't matter if it flows like that exactly or not and you're just going to fill it in in the corners so it gets the complete water flow and now we gotta go get some more water so um anyway guys yeah if you guys want to see any other videos just comment down below that'd be awesome um i play minecraft almost every day besides days where i have a big test or something going on at school so I'll be making a lot of videos, this is just my first video, so every comment that like tells me what to do and what to do better on my commentating would be awesome. And uh, you know, just comment if you enjoyed this or if you didn't like it so that I know what to do or not. But it should be about filling up all the way on the first level. And as you can see, the reason why we built the holes, you can see now the water gets a nice little complete flow going, which you'll see once we completely fill it up. It has a nice even flow in the middle, and that will be what it looks like. I skipped the block there on the left, but that's alright. But now, we'll go on the second level, and you see what I did there? I just placed it on the cobblestone, or the sandstone part, in between the staircase, so it can flow out of the staircase, just like that. And there should be water not in the corners. You can put water there, but you don't have to. But you can see now that there's a complete flow going through the staircase. That is what the staircases are for. So now we'll just go all the way back up to the top. I have to build a little ladder system going so I can get to the third level. See if I can make this jump. Yep. All right, so now we're going to place it just like we did on the second floor. We'll place it right there so it can run in between the stairs. And we'll just keep doing this over and over again. It should be the last bucket of water that I will need to get. So we'll just take the water fountain up to the top floor. And then the last two water places we will put is on the last side that we have not filled in. And then right on the very tippy top so it flows down. So anyway guys, that is it. You can fill in the corners where there isn't water. It's up to you. But um, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button for more tutorials. This is probably one of the best water fountains you can get um, you can use sandstone or whatever you want instead of the uh, sandstone you can put cobblestone but and you can decorate it however you want put a little fence put some flowers but um thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment down below what you guys would like to see in future episodes see you guys next time